Hello everyone, and welcome back to Essen's step-by-step -step software video series. Today's video is going to focus on the review of systems and the vital signs portions of the progress note. After logging into ECW, we're going to find ourselves on this screen. From here, we're going to go and select the patient. We find ourselves in a familiar place, which is the patient hub. And then we're going to go down to the progress note. And note that in the progress note, the first section at the top is the subjective portion. If we move down to the very bottom of subjective, right before objective begins, we find ourselves at the review of systems portion. As usual, clicking on the orange will send us into the section. And similar to the HPI, the review of systems is a template heavy portion of the node. So if we click on that, we're given a menu option here, and we can fill out each section as we see fit. Just like the HPI, we can choose from a combination of pre-selected options as well as free text. Alternatively, we can choose default or negative findings by clicking on the arrow. Sometimes there's only one or two sections that needs to be filled out for a given patient, in which case there is a default for all option right there. And it makes sure that you want to override what you're already putting in. And that's going to change what we put. And so now all of them are the default. We can always change that by clear all. And see, it's as if we never filled anything out. Alternatively, there's default by category, which will do a similar function when you use the default per category all option as I did. Clearing the categories will do the same. I'm going to leave that so that way we have something to look back on. And then moving on to the vital signs, which is the next portion of this video. Here we have the vital signs screen. Now, looking at all of these vital signs, you can see there's quite a few options to choose from. Not all of them are going to be necessary for every patient. Some of these are fairly specialized and will only be used by certain specialists. However, let's go about filling some of them in. Pain scale, for example, not necessarily for every patient. And then I'd like to bring attention to this next section. For height, we can put in inches. And for weight, in pounds. And notice what happens after you leave to the next section. The BMI is automatically calculated. A convenient feature. You can also put weight change. And then the further right we go, the less everything becomes universal. For example, peak flow, neck measurements, blood pressure when sitting, last menstrual period lying and sitting, blood pressure, vision. Hearing. Repeat pulse and vision tests can be done. And as you can see, for certain simple complaints, a lot of these may never come up. And note here that Unlike in other sections where there is a verified checkbox, here it says vital taken. Just slightly modified, but the same principle as before. It's good to keep the verification process going throughout all the sections of your progress note. Exiting out of this screen, here's what we can see. Under review of systems, remember most of what we wrote 
was cleared by the uh, clear default button. And then here are the vital signs. So this concludes this particular video of the Essence step-by-step -step software video series. In this video, we reviewed the review of systems and the vital signs portions of the progress note. Hopefully you'll have a fluid time being able to navigate through these sections going forward. We thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you again soon.